ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Another edition, the Brilliantly Dumb Show. You got Mikey V down low. You got Joey D top left shelf. And I ask you the question, Joey D, where would you rather be? Um, A couple of different places, but... Why don't you tell me where those places are? Um, Augusta would be one. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, it'd be nice to go back to Vegas at some point too. But, uh, that being said, Joey Jupiter's is thriving. I, I am, I am feeling great over here. Now, the young man below me looks like he is struggling. Mikey, are you hung over? Are you all right? I'm great. I'm wonderful. Feel fantastic. Feel like a hundred dollars. Mike, on your story, you said you were hung over. Not anymore. Bounce back very, <laughs> bounce back very quickly from those grilled cheese sandwiches. I was going to say that you know that's something that I've never had that I would kill a grilled cheese sandwich. Not that <laughs> I've had the grilled cheese sandwiches, the grilled cheese sandwich with the tomato soup. I've right. never had that combination. That's peanut butter and jelly of the soup sandwich world. I know, I know. I feel like that's uh, that's like a very common thing, Bob. I know. I don't think I've ever. It's all my. Well, as, as we know, commonality is not something that this show thrives on. <laughs> we are we are the most uncommon uh, show out there, probably. So speaking that's what makes of, it special. Speaking yes. of common, um, of uncommon, that is, we have no word from our dear friend Nikki Diamonds. A little bit concerning. So I yeah. don't think Nikki Diamonds today. I'm going to send it over to you, Mikey. Breezy Lounge looked like a blast last night. Nikki Diamonds was. Uh-huh. Like, 20 pounds of fur. Is he okay? Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't heard from him either. So I, I, your guess is as good as mine. But I, th- I think, you know, I know he got home safely. That I know. Um, and everyone had a great time. It was, uh, we had a great turnout. And, you know, the games were great. We had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. People were just having a great time. People were using the simulators. People were playing ping pong. People were at the bar. They were watching the games. They were Bouncing all over the place, playing the basketball game. So everyone seemed to have a very, very good time. Response was good. Every All the feedback I got was really good. So uh, all in all, I'd say it's a success. Now, with Nikki, uh, I, again, I haven't heard from him. So I don't know. You know, it could be today. It could be tomorrow. But hopefully, eventually, he, he pokes his head up. He's been laying low lately. I, I've barely been able to get a hold of him. Well, busy man. Busy yeah, I just, <laughs> with diamonds, I think it's just kind of one of those things. If if you have him and he's there, you bring him on. If he's not, you don't bring him on, and you let you know you just roll, and you just don't know when you're going to get him or not. He's he's as elusive as a unicorn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, he's a special cat, that's for sure. Now, we'll fellas, miss him. um, good news, a lot on the horizon. Waste management with the boys, full crew coming in hot. Um, very, very excited for what's going to take place there. Now, Mikey, this is your first waste management, no? It is. It is. Whoa. It is a fucking zoo out there. It really is. I mean, that's, what everyone everyone keeps, that's what everyone keeps telling me. It is. Buckle up, Michael. To the point where, you know, we're supposed <laughs> to do three, four days there. But by the time you, you get done with one day, and, you know, this is me talking, so maybe it's different, but... I, I'm I'm gassed after one day. It, it's really it, it's a lot. I mean, you're walking the whole time. It's it's nuts. I mean, you show up the next day incredibly hungover. So you got to rally. I think after two days max, it's tough. Yeah, it's- I, I I don't know. Like I don't know. Like this is the first um, golf event I'm going to. Period. Let alone like I, I I mean I guess if there was an event to break your to pop your cherry with, I mean I guess this would be the one. <laughs> Uh, other than the masters, I would say like, this is, this is the one I would say. Um, so I, I, I don't know what to expect at all. I just know that I'm going to have to pace myself. I, I'm gonna it's unlike it any real golf nice, tournament. slow, steady pace. It's not a normal golf tournament. It's a party is yeah. what it is. It's just yeah. like a week long party and good luck. If you're trying to stay with Perez, because he is a different beast come waste management week. He was there for 12 days last year. Yeah, that's yeah. I, <laughs> like, some would first say of all, if I was there for, if I was there 12 days, I'd be divorced. That's number one. <laughs> number two, if I was there 12 days, I'd probably die. So that's number two. Uh so that's it. Death and divorce. So I, I think my trip, I'll be I'll get in Wednesday night and then I'm leaving first thing Sunday morning. So I can't even go that crazy Saturday night. So 
because I want to get back home for the Super Bowl um, on Sunday. Uh, but uh, the 16th hole, I'm looking very much forward to from from what I've seen. And, you know, I mean, I have it's won. Awesome. I have won the Phoenix Open. I've won the Phoenix Open. So I, I, do, I am familiar with that experience um, and the raucous crowds and the cheering. So it'll be good to be back in, in that regard. I have digitally experienced it. And AI is, you know, the wave of the future. So I do feel a little connection there to the 16th. I got an issue. Um, I'm not good. I can't go to the Waste Management Sunday. I forgot that the, book, the Super Bowl is on Sunday. Yeah, I'm leaving there's 8 a.m. Sunday. There's no yeah. way I'm staying to Sunday. Um, you're scheduled to be there until the 12th, which is the Monday. That's a big issue. That's a really, really big issue. Because I, I, I was having this conversation with Dickie Gas. I was like, why would they fucking like... Like, this is like, why would they have a finish on a, I know every golf tournament, you know, the cutoff days, I mean, the first day starts Thursday and the cutoff day starts out. I get, I get all that, but like it with the Super Bowl, you would think maybe that's the one exception where they move it to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday instead. But Dickie Gass said that it goes off so early in the morning on mm -hmm. Sunday that it doesn't run into it. I would almost say maybe there's a world where they get mute, more viewers because they have more people gathered around and it's the only thing to watch before. Well, that's probably true. That's probably true. But I mean, if you're going to be there, like how you, I mean, man, that's, a I'm sure they've done the problem. analytics. Yeah, that's sure. a serious, that's a, well, last time it was in Scottsdale. So when we did the, the Brazy Invitational was there, then Waste Management, then Super Bowl. Wait, so this isn't at the same course every year? It is. It no. is. Oh, okay. I'm, okay. I'm saying last oh, year. Oh, the Super Bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was there. Yes. Prince put on a bender, unlike anything. I mean, that was one of the cre. I don't know how he I, – I, there were people sending pictures throughout Scottsdale fans of like, hey, I just saw Perez here. I just saw Perez there. He was in G-Eazy's entourage. He was at, like, at the club. Heard. Who? G Easy, the rapper, he showed up at his party. Yeah, and yeah. like he was every, he was every. I yeah. couldn't tell I, if you paid me one hundred thousand dollars, I couldn't tell you who G Easy is. No idea. Really? None. Zero. Zero. I no like idea. No. He's a I, white I mean, guy. Look, no offense. I mean, well, that narrows just, it down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no fucking. I literally have no idea who that is. What's one of his songs? Uh, cross my heart and hope to die. To my lover, never. He did a song with Nicki Minaj that too, but that's with uh, that's with. Paul. Now that name, I know that name. I know that name, Nicki Minaj. I know that he did a song with her. She was uh, she, Nicki Minaj. If I hit it one time, I'm a piper. If I hit it two times, I'm a lifer. I got that lyric wrong for sure. I don't know. So to me, it just sounds like a crazy song because I don't know if you got the lyrics right or wrong. You couldn't. Uh, you couldn't convince me one way or the other. So. <laughs> Not, sounded, could you imagine Perez bad. showing up in his entourage? No. Well, yes. Perez said that yes. Perez said he kind of like looked at him and was just like, "Yo, who are you?" The picture, are, the, the picture of him and Pat Perez is so great. I, I, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm dude, so glad that crazy. that moment happened. I'm so glad I was that moment. There. He was sat now, next to us. Didn't Pat Perez take shots at him on Instagram or social media? Yes. Didn't chirp him. So was there any like? Was there any like initial like? I let I I didn't go, so I'll okay. let Joey D take that okay. away. Okay. Um, it's very interesting. I'm curious, yeah. And by the way, so, nice to get this on the Brilliant Dumb Show before it heads over to Bob the Sports. So Joey D, break that news and break it good. We went out for dinner with Menzel and a friend of his. Um, Bob did not make it. He uh, in, instead ordered Benny Hanna delivery to the house. Turned uh, down the offering. Uh, you you are a different different. Just so a, keep in mind that uh, Johnny oh, came out. Oh, you're, both, entire... you're both you're both aliens. I called Joe okay. an alien last week. I, Bob, you're an alien also. Oh, you're just a, so yeah. Bob shows up. Wait, but 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 he he wanted to do man's. I wanted to do a ten o'clock reservation. That's unheard of. I'm not I'm not going to dinner at ten o'clock. Mikey, keep in mind he showed up, gave us four hours of his time. It's played a night, trophy winner, Bob. Played night played night golf with us. Invites us out to dinner at one of the hottest spots in town, Toca Madeira. Um, Bob says he's in, and then on the way home from the golf course, Bob goes all of a sudden, uh, guys, what does everybody want from Benny Hanna? <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess, I guess Bobby, Bob, Bobby is, Hanna, Bob is out. So uh, Bob decided to decline on the dinner with Menzel. Can I just, um, can I just defend myself before you go into the rest of the story, Joe? He I'll mentioned it, Bob. I will, he was I, will say, I will say this. 10 o'clock. He didn't give a shit. Don't tell me. He said, he said it would have been nice to have Bob here. 
I bet yeah, you know what though. You think you think you think Johnny Football woke up the next morning? He's like, I'm gonna hold a grudge on that one. Absolutely no, not. No, no, no. I'll see. By the way, he's the nicest guy ever. He, he, that very well may be. Um, Bob, <laughs> to his point, ten o'clock is really like. But at the same time, like that is uh, well. I mean, listen, you. It's not like it's the first time you ever met the guy. So like, you know, that's, it's that's the thing. It's I'm just kind of like common courtesy. The guy comes on our channel, does a solid. Like you could come out and Bob and have like appetizers and leave after half an hour, forty minutes. You don't want you. I almost think that's worse. Yeah, I no, mean, I don't know. I think you're at least way. showing face. Here's the way I look at. So you're it. saying Bob disrespected Johnny Manziel. To get to the point, is that what you're saying? No, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. You could read between the lines, whatever you want. Okay, to okay. Then there it is, reading between the lines. Okay, <laughs> now we're now we're getting somewhere, folks. We interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at AG One. I'm telling you right now, Athletic Greens is the real deal. I take it every single morning. Every single morning, I'm suiting up with the one, the only. Athletic Greens. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day. It makes me feel energized, helps your gut health, and does it all. Do the right thing. Knock down some AG1 today. You can't go wrong. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1, and that's why I've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, Start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash dumb. That's drinkag1.com slash dumb. You cannot go wrong. Start your day right. Take care of your health. Take ownership of your health with the fine folks over at AG1. Athletic Greens to the moon. Part of part of me really wants to call him and see if that bothered him because I, I I'm with Mikey. I don't think he gave. I, I, maybe he fine. did, but he mentioned you know a couple what? of times. Here's the deal. I I hung out with Johnny the first time and we had a blast. We had a lot of fun. We kept in communication since. We went and we played night golf. I had a great four hours with him. I gave him everything that I had. We had a lot of fun. I texted. Uh, I said I don't think I'm going to go Bob, to dinner. Bob always says that. He always says that. I what? gave him every. I give you everything I have. I, I gave you everything I had. Guy makes it sound like he wa he walked on the freaking out of the Guggenheim and just put on a performance. Guy was playing golf. Oh, but, but, <laughs> but I gave him everything. I mean, I you, you I gave him the full bob. I mean, I gave him everything. It has to be I mean, exhausting. Would you give it's got to be exhausting. I'm to calling. Be I'm calling. I don't know if it's necessary to call him, but I think he would say, you know, I hope he answers. I have a couple questions. You know what? For him. I don't get, I don't think he gave. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, I mean, he's that was, maybe he's a little upset. A jolly <laughs> finisher, but look, 10 o'clock reservation is unheard of. Yeah. I had a great time with John. I told him, John, I'm not coming. He said, no problem at all. He's Let's a class act. You, Joe. I was just merely saying why you weren't here. Cause I'm sure the next question was going to be like, where was Bob during this? So I got ahead of it. Yeah, no, I mean, I wanted to get ahead of it, too. But uh, he said, you're the man, brother. No worries whatsoever. Thanks for having me, as always. We'll talk more whenever you get a little rest, pal. Maybe that was a little shot at the tail end. <laughs> the pal probably, me. probably. The pal, the pal. pal. It all pal goes me. back to the pal. Right. When you all right. someone. <laughs> so Perez was clearly, there's no world that he was not going to go. Right. Um, And I had to leave the next day, so I was tired. But I said, you know what, I'll go as well. Um, and we had a great time, but we we're walking in Toka Madero, great spot in, in Scottsdale. And we walk in and as we're walking by the table next to us, Johnny goes and says, hello. And I'm like, who is he looking at? I look at it and it's Pat Perez. <laughs> and for anybody, I mean, who knows, this has been like the white whale for, for FP because his name is literally based off of this golfer. He's wanted to connect with them, never reached out. So as we're walking by, Pat Perez like looks at us and he looks at FP like he's a ghost. And he just looks at him. He's like, are you him? <laughs> <laughs> and then he like looks at Perez just like, and then he's like, again, he goes, are you him? Are you actually him? And Perez like, yeah, yeah, I'm him. And then I was just like, oh my God, this is like, yeah. I, 
This yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah. So we sit oh, down. Oh, Joe just had Joe just had a, a big thing of drool. Just See, I missed it. I missed it. Fuck. I oh, missed. Mikey. Fuck, you're such I a child. Totally oh, it. I Mikey. It. I, it. I, it. I, I wish you saw it. I he totally just... missed it. I didn't, Joe, I didn't see it, Joe. I didn't oh, see it. Mikey. I can't He's such wait. a child, man. It's a great story, by the way, Joe. <laughs> it's a great story. But Mikey, that makes it sound like I spat on myself. Oh, Mikey, if you would have seen this, oh, holy God, are you serious? That was a all right, Bob. Why don't you finish the story off for us, okay? Nah, I was there. Why don't you finish the story. Oh, yeah, you weren't there. Yeah, that, you that, weren't that there. A bib. Oh, are you serious? He's screwing the story. has got this. You know what sucks, Joe? That story was a heater, bro. Great story. The story was a heater. Great Keep story. going, Joe. Keep going. So anyways, you know, and again, I think it was a process of him just feeling them out. So we ordered, Menzel, of course, ordered shots for the table. Um, this guy, so, this guy, this guy don't stop, huh? So we get shots and FP goes, you know, I'd like to send one over. You know, I want to kind of break the ice. So he sends over a shot and Pat Perez looks and Menzel's like, yeah, it's from, from FP. He goes, I have so many people hitting me up saying we got to do a match. He's like, how would that work? And FP goes like, well, if we had a match, you'd probably kill me anyways. Something to that effect. Very humble. And that, but, that, but that broke the ice. Yeah. And then after that, I think he kind of realized that FP is not trying to tread on his footsteps. And, he, yeah. and then they just kind of hit it off. So then all of a sudden they're chatting it up. He's saying about, you know, how he wants to have a match and how we should set something up. That's Perez great. is stoked. I, and then I looked at, I said, you know, you want to set the world on fire. You guys just got to get a picture together. And so sure enough, he goes, let's do it right now. We walks up, they take a picture together. It was kind of cool because it was like full circle. Like no, that Perez is like, amazing. Amazing. His Got alter it. ego, like his alias, has become full circle it's an with amazing, the guy that he was based off of. And I think they're going to do a match now. It's an, ama it's an amazing story. It's an it, amazing story. It is. The coolest thing it at is. the end, Bob, is that he said to us, he goes, you know, I have mad respect for what you guys do. You That's know, awesome. And so he showed a ton of love. So then, And then I left because Menzel's waiting. We had paid our bill, which Menzel paid. What a guy. Uh, and... Sky. He's waiting what outside for what us. Is, this guy lives an imaginary life, bro. He's Dude, he's waiting outside for us in his in his car. Yeah. And we're waiting. And Perez is talking to FP. And and finally, Menzel's friend comes out. He goes, yo, we're waiting. You guys coming? So I left out of courtesy because the guy's waiting to drive right. us. Right, right, right. And Perez stayed for another five minutes talking to Pat Perez. So I'm they hit it off. I think they're 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 like they were texting throughout the night. So Joe, it's pretty cool. So did Perez, did our Perez then meet you at the club? Yeah. So that was the next thing. Then we went, Menzel showed us out at the club and said, anything you guys want, it's on you us. Know, it, we didn't it, stay that long, honestly. We we left pretty soon after, but. We'll say from, it, you're right, Mikey, it's, it's a wild story. It, it, it really is. is. And then it is. the picture that they took, it couldn't have been a more perfect picture of them with the middle finger up. The surrounding, there's like a skeleton in the background of a painting yeah. in the shush sign. So it was it was really really cool. And even per, um, our Perez never DM'd them to to have a match. He like didn't want to. I don't know his reasoning why. I kept telling him DM him, ask him to, to do a match. And he didn't want to do it. But from Pat's standpoint, I can imagine from what we hear from players like you know Keegan and his caddy that he's a happy day and whatnot. You got to think that Pat hears it all the time. Yeah. Every time he's playing, walking down every single fairway, like nonstop. Um, he doesn't know I, what I, context it's I, in either, I, you know? I think yeah. that a lot of these guys that you interact with and that you've had on the show and that, you know, the big name guys, like, it's cool to see some of them because I would imagine there's some professional golfers out there that take offense to, like, YouTube golfers. Like, I'm sure there's professional golfers who like, like they're, they're probably saying to themselves, like, who the fuck do these guys think they are? You know, make I'm not going to say making a mockery of the game. Cause you, I mean, to an extent, yes, with the a comedic relief, but they're earning money playing a game that I played my whole life to be a professional. There's gotta be that side of the coin out there somewhere. Maybe it's a smaller percentage than, than most think, which would be great. Cause it seems like most of the guys, cause you've, you've dealt with a lot of them and, and big name guys, 
seem like they're very okay with it and seem like they actually enjoy it. And he's a guy that I would have definitely thought would not. So for him to say that he was Pat Perez, that is, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Oh, he was talking I'm about surprised. Liv and like how when they first went, he was one of the first guys that went. They yeah. really got shat on, and of now course. with with Rom going, all of a sudden after Monahan's made the deal with Liv, the whole perceptions changed, and so Rory, now guys, Rory, Rory kind of backpedaled too. Yeah, right? that, and that's what he was saying. He's like, yeah. "Why am I the bad guy when I go?" You know, and he's like he's like what i hope is he's like i hope that like the guys on tour have respect for us that we're just trying to do our own thing and make our own living and he's like and i i on the contrary i have the same respect for you guys doing your own thing in your own world and making a name for yourselves he's like so he showed a lot of love it was, and of i really there's plenty of room at the table for everybody man you know i think that's the bottom line at the end of the day mikey it's really yeah. like there's plenty of room you just gotta you know you gotta get your you gotta just find your groove and your niche and and then you stick with it but um that's i really really was surprised to see that picture because i never thought pat perez i'm gonna be honest seemed like a guy to me who was kind of like an arrogant kind of like a fuck you kind of guy not a, and i'm not saying that he's a bad guy and i i never thought he was like a bad guy i'm just I'm surprised that he was that cool with everything. It no. didn't strike me as the type that would be. So that's great. Yeah, but it, and that's why to hear how the story starts, and they were even texting our group chat of updates that were happening. I was like, oh, my God. At first, it sounded like it was awful. Right. You feel really bad. And then the turnaround, great play by Perez to send him a shot, by our Perez to send him a shot. Yeah. But it is pretty wild. And the last we'll say on is like, even we filmed Max Homa. Homa was telling me that, you know, nowadays it's crazy that there's YouTube golf accounts. You know, you have good, good, all these accounts that'll get more views than any of their regular, a lot of their regular tournaments. I know. And that's, that's what I mean. Like, like it takes a very big person to not, to be in the position that they're in and not give a shit about that and just focus on yourself. And that really is, I mean, that's a sign of, you know, maturity, emotional intelligence, all that shit. But that's very, very uh, impressive on Pat Perez. Again, a guy that I really thought from <laughs> all of his videos and stuff, I did not think it would go that way. So that's that story is really, really a good one. It's really good. Awesome. And I hope they they should. You you got to get him on. That's, I, that's, well, I think that's that, a that, massive that match. Must. That's that a match would must. go nuts. Yeah, um, it would go nuclear. I, I think mean, it, it also helped nuclear. that uh, Pat Perez really likes Menzel. So the fact that we were having dinner uh, with him, it also kind of set the table no pun intended, yep. for us in the sense that it was, it really couldn't have worked out better for the first meetup. And it was super cool for me just being a spectator and watching it to see it all go down. Because I remember when FP first came on the channel and he was like, I don't think anybody wants to watch me and this and that. And then I told him, I said, you know, I think you got what it takes that you're going to blow up one day. So it was really cool, man. It was really freaking cool. I wish Bob would have been there to celebrate the moment, but you know, he was, he was uh dicing and slicing. Shot. Benny he, had, steak he had, and to, chicken. had to get it in. He had, had to, to get it in. in. And he acts he knows. like that's he did a normal it, he did thing. And he, and he does it. that all the time. He tried but, to do it covertly, but it was it didn't because, come out covertly. Well, well, I'm being honest. I would have loved you to be there, Bob. We were even, we were time. even talking. We were even talking about back at, at the place where like Joe's out having a good time somewhere. He'll message you and be like, oh, dude, be like, I wish you were here. Mm. And part of that is he wants to stick it in that you're not there and he's having a good time. Part of it is he wants you, he does want you there, but then there's also this other part of, hey, I, I want to stick it to you. You know what I mean? It has his hand up. Go ahead, Joseph. I just don't want to interrupt. I've done a lot of talking, but Bob, would you rather not be wanted than to be wanted? I mean, it's, it's, it's like the fact that I want you there, it means 100%. that you add an element of enjoyment and that's got to feel good knowing that you're wanted to be like, uh, I could just be like, oh, Bob, you know, Bob's not coming. Then who cares? A hundred. That would be a lot worse. A hundred percent. But there is that part of it that wants you to stick it in and take that jab of, hey, you're not. The you know what it's like, Joe? You know what it's like? It's like when you when there's a bet that's winning and you know, I didn't ride, you know, that I didn't take that team and you'll call and you ask. And you'll oh, go, I wish you were on this. I yeah, wish exactly. You were on this. He'll he'll do that all the time. And. It's a dig. It's 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 a shot of you know. Oh, dude, you're not on Oklahoma. You knew I wasn't on Oklahoma. Oklahoma Everything's better when Bob's involved. We had we one. had we had some roller coaster oh, ups, and, ups and downs yesterday, like with live reactions that were just 
Diamonds went nuts. They're indescribable. Great. They're indescribable. Um, uh, we had a really bad beat with Villanova and um, UConn. Connecticut, yeah. Half court shot that that covered the, that backdoored the spread. I'm gonna probably use it on Cuzzy's cooler because it's fucking unbelievable. He got kid hit a, sh- a half court shot at the buzzer to ruin the. Park. Are you serious? It's all that actually. Yeah, yeah. it was brutal. And then um, <clears throat> we had a first touchdown prop score with Kittle. So we went fucking insane. Me and Nikki Juice split a a, a, a bet on that to win a, a hefty amount of. Tra- it was just, it was wild, but yeah, those the, the bets like that. Uh, it's just, but yeah, Joe uh, Joe threw that covert jab in, but it got discovered and r- rooted out quickly. But it was still good nonetheless. I thought it's always I, in good in good faith. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> let's play the Nikki Diamonds clip. It looked like a blast. Uh, there was the turnout looked was great. This from the Ravens, when Diamonds gets up and he just. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw the Ravens game in the background, so I would have presumed it was. I don't know if it was the Ravens game because, yeah, yeah, it had to be the Ravens game because it was earlier. So yeah, it had to be. Yeah, it had to be the <laughs> when they scored the touchdown to go up three touchdowns. He went nuts. <laughs> Okay, fellas, let's get down to business. Okay, let's get after it. This is going to be our buy or sell segment. Why are you laughing, Bob? Yeah, why are you laughing? You think about the drool? <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you're yeah. bro. You're you really you're you're. A he's a child. He's person. a child. No, he's an alien, just like you. I work. No, with he's two, a litter. He's I work a child. with two extraterrestrials. Is what I work with on a weekly basis. This guy, this guy hears a fart. You swear he just heard a stand up from like, a, but he's a Robin known, Williams. He's a known I, fart guy, though. I love so him. is my son. The problem is he's five. Yeah. Yeah. It's smart. Domi- I, I mean, Dominic, if you say the word fart, you'll it's be his best bad. friend because he thinks it's so fucking hysterical. Uh, you should hang out more, Bob. You and Dom. Yeah, look, Dom's some... a very smart kid. He's very socially aware. And, and, and maybe you'd win some more know. bets if you hung out with Dom. He seems <laughs> to have good picks. Why are we still, why are we still taking shots? No, I'm not. Honestly, but you've been hanging out be with nice. Dom. Be, it would be nice to have a digest on, day man. today, man. A nice digest day would be, would would be nice. I'm today, not, man. Bob. And I agree, Mikey. I agree. It would be man. good for a digest day. We I, we need it, man. We got to revive this digest group. I know. I it is on know. life support, man. I don't know what's going on with it, but yeah. I miss the old days. I'm all over Detroit. All over Detroit. Okay. Okay. First quarter. What you don't like oh, Detroit? You like you like Baker Mayfield. <laughs> text with him the other day. Humble brag, but text with him the other day. Uh, when is he coming on the show? Because I have some questions for him. Yeah. Oh. What do you? Maybe saying? when he's not battling in the freaking playoffs, trying yeah. to get to an NFC championship. He'll be on the golf course next week with you guys doing a special oh, somewhere. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa shots! Whoa, I'm on Detroit. Whoa. I'm on Detroit today. What Why am I supposed to do? You gotta keep taking shots at friends of the. You're notorious for taking. By the way, Baker has done very well this year for a guy yes, who guy guy is notorious for dating shots at friends of the pod he does it no i always no 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 you took a shot at josh when did i take a shot at josh when i said the cutler thing oh i threw joe 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 you know you just answered your own question Joe. by the way i'm on the bills today big i'm on the bills big today I am on the Bills. I am a Josh Allen advocate. If it, it's now or never for Josh and the Bills, it it's is now it or is, never. It is. All right, I'm going to say this. All I said was he's throwing the ball around like Cutler. He, he had a lot of interceptions this year. He had a lot of interceptions. That's, that's not what you said. It Mikey. is what I said, basically. Mikey, that's not it's basically, basically what no, I said. Okay. Mikey, come on. Tell me what you did. You compared him. You said he's Jay Cutler, which is not a very nice thing to say. Jay Cutler had a, made a ton of money and had a pretty good career. Bob. Oh, you're saying you meant it as a positive thing. Absolutely. You're <laughs> so full of shit. You meant that comment as a bad thing after the day that he. I have a Jay Cutler himself. jersey hanging in my closet. I'm I a big fan of his. And I I'm a Josh Allen you. guy, too. Joey D's got his hand up. I'm, I don't do this often, but I'm going to play devil's advocate in the sense. There we go. That. <laughs> After the accusation of Michael stating that Josh Allen was playing similarly to Jay Cutler, Josh Allen has proceeded to go on a run unlike any other and won six straight games 
and it won the division. Oh, Joe, I tweeted that in like the third week of the Jesus season, Joe. Christ. I tweeted that very you early. You think that that makes – that that had anything he to – He listens to the Brilliant and, Dumb Show. Maybe he – maybe he a little fire under him. He don't listen to the Brilliant Dumb Show. He definitely doesn't. He does not. I'm sorry, Josh. How do you know? If he does, Josh, we appreciate the support because God knows we're on life <laughs> fucking support over here. We appreciate the hell out of you. And I always liked you a lot. When you were coming out, I said you were the top quarterback in that draft. I said it, and a lot of my friends said I was insane. I did. I li- I liked him. I thought he Wait, was great coming out. Oh, what do you mean? I still oh. think he's great. I just think he had a very rough season this year. I think he had a tough season. Oh, well, he bounced God. back in a good way. They won the Listen, division. let's beat the fucking Chiefs today. Let's beat Chiefs. the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode of the Berlin Um Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. Whether you are in a funk in your life, you need somebody to talk to, somebody to help you get back on track, BetterHelp.com is the place to go. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge let therapy be your map with better help visit betterhelp.com slash bds today to get 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp.com slash bds for 10 percent off your first month go over to betterhelp.com get everything back on track and do it the right way talk to somebody today betterhelp.com let's get into our buy or sell segment buy or sell what did you see of the week that you liked what of the week did you not like? Um, I will sell 10 p.m. reservations. I also am going to buy <laughs> two things. I get two buys, if you don't mind. Is that allowed? I, I take it back. I got to buy and sell, if you guys don't mind. This guy is just Joe? rewriting his... Uh, yeah, fair enough. Go ahead. You better be... Go ahead. Go ahead, Bob. Are they... Are they but if, if you're going to give one of each, they better both be heaters. They no, better no, both be good. heaters. The reason that I did two is I think one of them might have already been sold, and I'm going to back somebody up on their on their sell. All right, so go ahead. Go me, ahead. The sell that I was going to have is, and I think Joe was the one who sold it, is um, UFC decisions. When oh, it yeah. goes to yeah. a decision. The did judges. you sell that, Joe, or did I sell the judge? I, so, I sold it. You Bro, did? It yeah. is absolutely. I said it's awful. I said it's awful. I, I, I thought I sold that too for some reason. Go ahead, Bob, I'm sorry. You know what? If they're going to score it a certain way. You're talking about obviously the, the Duplicis Strickland fight. That's the main one. Yes. There were a yeah. couple ones on that right. card that were right. shocking, but that's the main one. Cause to me, yeah. Strickland won the fight. Even Dana White came out and said, Strickland, I mean, Strickland won the fight. When you're the champion, you don't have to beat the challenger. The challenger has to clearly beat you yes. if it goes the distance. And that did not happen, in my opinion, last and, night. And you know what, Mikey? It's even if you're going to score the fights a certain way, fans at least have to have some sort of an idea of how, of what to go by and how the fight is judged. Because I almost feel like as a fan, mm. you don't have any idea how the fight is scored. Is it significant strikes? How many points for a takedown? Like you really don't know who's going to win. And they come to the decisions. There was one on the undercard that the guy was shocked that he won. He couldn't believe it. So I'm backing up the cell. Was that the one where they, they announced the wrong winner? No, the ref it, grabbed the, the, wrong the wrong guy's hand. hand. And, yeah. and, and then was, the other guy had accepted Yo, the that piece. was, so we, so Pia Senza, UFP put yeah. out that other guy. Whose arm got raised I by mistake, them. and I when it happened, them. when it happened, the place erupted. Everyone <laughs> in the bar erupted, and then they were like, "Whoa, no, no, no!" And they raised the other guy's hand. It you could hear that's a, a bad, drop. that's a he, bad. He was that's texting bad. me. We, he went nuts. And by the way, that's not even the fight on the undercard that I was talking about. Right, it's bad. UFC is bad with that stuff. Yeah, I mean, with that stuff, crazy. it's bad. The judging is bad. That bad. You know what they should do? They should like if they if they um. If they can't get to his decision, they should do like a punch for punch, like a like a you know like the slap. Like what do they do? The Bob, what's the slap out thing? The... You're serious, Joe. Joe. I mean, Joe. one guy gets one get guy out. would it would be an instant knockout. Whoever gets the first punch would be an instant knockout. An instant knockout. An instant knockout. The other guy, it would be an instant knockout. Yeah. You or might as well maybe, maybe, let them, maybe let them play like... thumb war. Maybe arm wrestling. Maybe, maybe flip maybe, a coin. You put one guy has him in a in a, in a submission movie. He has to get out, and then, then the wrestling. other guy can do it. That's wrestling. By the way, if you start on top of him, 
you you go to that power slap, it it is one of the funniest things of all time to bet on. It really is. Oh. 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 This, guy, this guy over here busted my balls for not coming to a 10 o'clock reservation. Dana White rolls out the red carpet. That yeah. And, yeah, and this guy is nowhere to be found. Yeah, I mean, I had been, I on, had, I had been traveling – for oh, weeks, no, Bob. Next time you get the next time you get the Dana White red carpet, nine seven three. I didn't hear about the. I didn't hear about it until oh, last. Oh, Joe, you had plenty of notice. Don't just hand up it. Maybe I shouldn't have done Benny Hanna, but let's not sit here <laughs> and act like you away from my that from week. my beautiful fiance for two weeks traveling and internationally. There, and there is the real reason, Joe. And Joe, listen. Coming it's from totally a guy, happy adult. wife, happy wife, happy life, dude. Happy wife, happy adult. life. Michael, let me ask you a question. If you were traveling for almost two weeks internationally, and the day that you get back, a Bro. day after to go to Vegas? Bro, my, let me tell you something. Holly is the most accommodating, supportive, so Nicole. beautiful woman on the face of the planet. You want to talk about traveling for a week? How about I traveled for a day to New York City, and then I said, Mike Coogs is coming over. Uh, we're going to come back to the house and hang out in the basement. And she's like, well, I thought we were going to watch shows, but I'm just going to go up to bed. And that's not a <laughs> knock on her. I love you, babe. I love you very much. But I'm saying, like, women want to spend time with their men. That's course. what they want. And and God bless them for it, and I want to spend time with her also. That being contact. said, if Dana White rolls out the red carpet, you go. You have to, and she, yeah, you, 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 you have to. That's a once in a lifetime opportunity, Joe. But may, well, actually, perhaps oh, no, for you, it, it won't be right. That, but Bob, you gotta, you have to take that into account. Also, I feel. By like. the way, it wasn't like Dana was like, "Oh, make sure Cole Cuts is on the way." He uh, said, uh, "Bob, I want you to come to Power Gutsy. Slap, and Bob was going to bring me along for Gutsy. moral support." Which I heard Joe. I heard Joe said he felt a little slighted. It was an invite to Power Slap and not a UFC pay per view, and but that was the gotta, real reason. You gotta pay your dues at the. Power you gotta Slap. crawl before you walk. Exactly to get to the UFC, which we had a lot of crawling, Michael. Now with that. <laughs> Now, like a toddler, the amount of crawling we've done over the last five years. I want to walk. I want to walk. Oh, Oh, Joe, Joe, you're not you're not walking now. Joe, who are you telling? Joe, you're flying, bro. You're flying, bro. Let's keep in mind what's going on here, as if this guy's coal mining every single goddamn day. I was gonna I said to Don, I was like, like, you got guys who dig ditches every day. There's guys out there digging ditches every day. That's not what I'm saying. I'm getting taken out of context again. Yeah, pretzel job. Yeah, got yeah. That's really uh, this I'm is just, the pretzel You know what factory, I've realized? Joe. I just I've just I've realized I'm just a very very misunderstood individual. Yeah, that you are. That you are. Um, it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, UFC Atlantic City March. Dana, if you're watching, which you're not, but if you're watching, the boys are ready. The boys are you excited. Got his number, Bob. Shoot the guy a text. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't turn yeah. out Manzel called just did, and I just get red button. Well, I'm not saying call Dana White. That's crazy, but a little text. Yeah, hey, Dana, Dana, go. going, going to UFC, Atlantic City, March. Hey, what do you think? First, Dana White has has Drake come into the event, and now he's got Bob. And by the way, that's not a pay-per-view. So I feel like Dana could really roll out some serious, maybe front, maybe maybe cage side. Maybe yeah. cage side. I'm just saying, you know, when we not got a pay per view, I'm not asking. Side. It's not a pay per view, Joe. What's the harm in giving his little cage shot? My question is, if your cage side, it's got to be hard to see because you're looking up, like you're not seeing everything. I don't know, Joe. I'd rather be cage side. I think cage side's pretty cool. I wouldn't know. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither, buddy. Slap side. Bob was slap side. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when when we did go for the power slap. That he even said you're going to get the rock star treatment, so you know you're going to get the sweet whatever. When it came time for the UFC, you know you're not getting that sweet because you got the big. Give you great seats, great seats, yeah, but like 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 you're not getting like where Denzel sweet. Washington is sitting. You know, right. you know, I, you're, I mean, you're not get that yet. But but, but we're working crawl on before it. you walk. Crawl. Bob, what's your buy? Okay, let me get into my buy now. Um. My buy is going to be. He forgot his buy. A hundred percent. He forgot his buy. He forgot his buy. I think. Come I on. Like, what the buy. I'm ready for my all buy. Right, all right, go, go, go. Ready for my buy? Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Uh, all I right. just reminded you of the buy. All right. Go I'm gonna buy. Bobby. Now I'm going to buy. I think the Super Bowl did the halftime show right this year, Joe. I know you're going to be thrilled about this. Usher halftime show. Is that who it is? Yeah. It's Usher. Oh, oh, that's good. Great. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I will be locked in for that halftime show. Let I'm an Usher guy. 
I'm an usher guy. Any of the new shit. Don't do any of that stuff. Do what got you there. Play confessions. Do it right. And he will. I tell you who might have, sh- maybe should have been considered to get the nod this year. Due to recent successes. You're going to say T-Pain. T-Pain. <laughs> he T-Pain should have got the nod. <laughs> this guy, love. he is the biggest T-Pain supporter. I'm trying to Ever think if, if Usher has any collabs with T-Pain that he could bring him out for. Like Sometimes he probably does. Surprise T- guests. I, I'm a, you'll see T-Pain at the Super Bowl. You could put a prop bet on that. You'll see T-Pain at the Whoa! Super Bowl in some capacity. T-Pain that is a wild. Yeah. Yeah. He, don't he don't know. He don't know. He don't know that. When so, T-Pain inside shows sources up, have told him. I'm clipping this. Mikey, T-Pain I'll give you. I'll give you a fifteen to one on T Pain being there. You hundred bucks. What? Hundred bucks. Fifteen to one. Bucks, That's a fifteen hundred piece, Michael. Fifteen to one. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> Mikey, you better reach out to some people now. Yeah. Let me call <laughs> yeah. Ryan. Let me call Ryan Clark. See if he could send T Pain <laughs> to the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, who's Lordy. up? Who's up, Bob? Um, let's I'll, go. I'll go. You want me to go? Do- Let's do Mikey V. Let's do Mikey right. Apparently Mikey's up. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to sell this. This has been bothering me for uh, quite some time. I've been following it. Have you guys looked at Guinness? Do you remember Guinness World Book sure. of Records? Yeah. Like that was Used like to be a, huge. I, it was. And I got to tell you, go to their Instagram and see some of these new record holders that they have. Oh, he was not they happy got, with the hug. A guy, the most hugs in a minute and people are just walking by and it's not even hugs. He's going, uh, uh, uh. That's not a world record. Wait, wait, wait don't well, jump. Well, yeah, what yeah. happened? I'm out of the loop. He here. put it on his story. To get, yeah, but it's not just that one, Joe. They have a world record for most consecutive times to flip a water bottle upside down and have it land right side up. They That's have a tough. world. They, they have a world record for most books flipped in a minute, like flipped completely onto a table. And it, it is so stupid now this guinness world book they used to mean something these world records great. fattest person ever tallest person ever shortest person ever longest nails longest hair things that really like were were were, were something something, something different. yeah this has become an absolute watered down shell of itself the guinness world book of records and they need to be held accountable i'm so well they can only do so much they've been doing i remember they did a i got to be a new world's fattest man somewhere World's I got tallest. a Guinness World Book of Records in the year 2000. How great were those books? They, they were, were awesome. Great. They were awesome. That's 24 yeah. years ago, though, Michael. Uh, That's a lot of years to break records. They got to keep it going. Mikey, you I know, but these sure. records stink, Joe. No, I agree with you. Giving out compliments on the show. Mikey's buyer sells are the best. Like, when you hear him sell something, it may sound crazy at first, and then you let him talk about it, and he will persuade you – into, I think it's a great sell. I think he's I see some. I, I I catch something in the, like I'll catch something and then I just go right to my notes and I write it in there. Sell this. Yeah. Sell yeah. that. I just do that. That's smart. And then I don't it's there. That I just keep it in a vault Meanwhile. and then I'll pull them out. Meanwhile, Joey D's about to sell traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's. All right. Let's hear it's it. Not my sell, but it'd be a pretty good one. All <laughs> right. Sure. Buckle up. This is a sell, and I'm telling you what. I just got absolutely banged this this oh, yeah. last dude. I am selling. I'm not gonna what is what are oh, we doing? Oh no. Oh no. You know, we have a doozy of an episode going. Hold on, yeah. hold on. Really hold on. catching some steam. <laughs> you guys can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Actually, I think it would be entertaining maybe if he just stayed like oh there he oh, is. Oh my god. And it's actually kind of funny because it's just Robert Berger. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Every time I try to catch steam on this podcast, this guy comes catch in. Catch the oh, steam. God, you yeah, got I'm banged. Sorry. You got banged. Every week you get banged no, by something. By what way, banged that, you this week? That crawl before you walk thing is really a bunch of horse. To say that this guy's been crawling for, for years was insane, by the way. And I do want to- You just, misinterpreted that. I think that was crazy. I think that was you crazy. You didn't understand what I was saying. I felt that I'm on saying a that we level. Maybe that we were was more grinding. of a maybe for Joe, in Joe's case, it was a walk before you run, maybe. I, yeah, I, I was feel, just saying that we have been, we have been grinding for a long time. That's all I, I said. I'm responsible for helping this guy fly to the heights that he is, for helping it. Well, for no one has shown you more appreciation than me. Okay, Let's Joe. not create a pretzel job here. Okay, I'll ahead. sell that, too. So all right, do here best. we go. I am selling... I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I said I wasn't going to use the, the company name because just it's, I, there's no need for it. I am selling cross country traveling, like moving companies. 
This uh, didn't he sell this last week or am I am I not? No, never, never, never before. It, I, I haven't moved across country before. You I sold would've... movers last week, didn't you? Didn't no, you sell I didn't. moving? No, no, I didn't. No. Okay, okay, okay. No, I, okay. It would have been a crazy sell if he did. Because it's so this awesome. is this is without a doubt the most horrific, most botched, most lackadaisical, like inept body of work that I have ever seen in my life. We we paid a ridiculous amount to have. I didn't even have furniture, Michael. I didn't even have furniture I know, delivered. I, know. I had boxes of clothes and shoes and items. 18 boxes. Guess how many boxes showed up? Six. Out of the 18. No, but 15. But my point is three boxes, which <laughs> 15, were all... man, that's like that's like that's like 80%. <laughs> yeah, I paid for my stuff to get delivered. Three I boxes do, I do agree. never I do agree show with that. up. I, I do agree with that, but I really thought it was gonna be really bad, Joe. I thought it was gonna be worse. I Look, thought you were gonna tell me none or two. It is really bad. 15 every, out of 15, but, but anyway. One box was every pair of shoes that I own. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I had like 30 pairs of Jordans, collector's items. Oh, let me, tell you, uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You think that box just magically didn't make it there? Just that's because? what Nicole said, and I said I didn't believe it. She no. said maybe they tampered it. That, that's the that's the box that got purposely taken because they'll just sell a those whole shoes. collector set. 11s, 4s, 3s, 12s. That's 12. tough, bro. Bro, I don't have a... Now, and I they, tried they have insurance or anything? Well, now they, they here's, here's where they get you. You got to file a claim of and course. you got to send receipts for the items. I don't have receipts of these items. Receipts for the items. That's the right. items that I bought, the yeah. some of them I bought two, three years ago, they, they're worth a shitload of money. They're yeah. collector's items and they're gone. And now tomorrow, I tried calling them yesterday. And of course, you think anybody in that company would work on a weekend? God forbid, one person has to go in on a weekend. So I got to wait till Monday, tomorrow, to call them to get a, to, to find out if the boxes are even alive. So I'm furious about that. All my brand new clothes that I just bought, that shitloads worth of money gone. And then here's the the the, the cherry on top of the Sunday. My TV comes. It's it's cracked down the whole side. I'll send a video. TV's completely smashed along the side here. It was completely broken. Even down here on the side, this area is all messed up too. TV's broken, can't use it. The TV is destroyed. It's destroyed, Michael. So I paid four thousand dollars to have all this stuff delivered, and and I I got three boxes worth of of values that I'll never get back, and a TV that's broken. So here's what you do, kids: you move it yourself. I would buy a U-Haul. I tell you what, drive across the country. You get to experience America in all of her glory, and you know that all your items are coming with you. Allow me to submit this little trinket of opinion. Okay, there may not be a better item to break accidentally or purposefully than a television because it means you get to get a new TV. Chew I'm on going, that for a I'm minute. going big. I, I'm I going it, 85 see? Inches. You see? You see? But, but you're going to upgrade. Still, it's always going to be an upgrade. But they're not going to give me near the value of He's what I'm going to play. still got to pay for it. It's not yeah, like but, you... yeah, but now, you know what, though? It's a reason. Like a new, is there anything like a new TV, Bob? No, it's awesome. It's a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. But I would have liked to put this in the guest room. I know that's where it hurts. This is a sixty-five inch let me, Samsung. Let me, tell you, let me let me let me save you and Nicole a little bit of money because I know you've been reaching into those pockets a lot lately. You've been you've been you've been reaching that credit card. That credit card is on I paid fire. It. I paid it's it. almost I paid melted. It. That credit card. I paid. Card. It. I paid. Okay. It, it was like far, forged in the in the, in, in the fires of Mordor. Now I don't know if they have these in Jupiter, but I'm sure they do. Find a Costco over there. Okay. Join Costco and get one have of those a Costco TV. card though. That's Go get a Costco card. And get a TV from Costco, five year warranty, cheap and really good, cheap and really good, and the better best than Best Buy. Best, re- Best Buy. You don't want me to don't don't get me started. But Joe, you got a connection at Best Buy. Yeah, I do. Joe, but he's in, he's Joe. in California. Best Buy is the bang job with my Sony TV, Joe. 
That was the bang job but of my soul. This guy hooked it up. This guy had a real. But he he's not going to be able to do anything for the for the for for the back end on the financials. He's oh, not going to be he able hit, to do it. He anything. hit me up. He said he's got some pull. All right, go get a Best Buy team. Go get a Best Buy. <laughs> but no, no, I want. I'm interested about the Joe, Costco. The Costco, place. the warranty. They don't ask any questions. You bring that TV back, you'll get your full money back. There's, no, they don't even ask a fucking question. These I days. don't. I've it's maybe been in a Costco a few times, but I'll tell you this. If the chicken pie, chicken pot pie is as good as it was. <laughs> the chicken pie. I'm telling you this. I would trust the TV. Yeah. The pot pie yeah. That was pot pie is good. good. That it was good. out of this world good. Bob, you would like Costco for the samples. Yeah. I, yeah, I would. Bob um, would be eating those samples. He'd be going there daily to try some of those some, samples. I, I, I cannot bring myself to just something about eating a piece of food that's in the open air where it's so awesome. many other oh, people are breathing it up, bothers man. me bob, bob you bothers me bob i don't know why i know yes. i know i know that is that is and i'm not and the come sick on. part is what, i'm think not trying to poison you I mean, come if on, i had, if I had a shit attack i would go to a sunoco gas station it wouldn't bother me one one bit but something about open air with all those people walking around coughing little kids the cups, the little cups, something is very unappetizing. This guy's one it. step away from walking around with a mask on. No, that's that's the <laughs> farthest thing from the truth. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Are though. you above Costco samples? Oh, please don't no, say Bob, you are. are you above uh, I wouldn't, uh, no, Bob, I some wouldn't, of the Costco samples no, are awesome. I wouldn't I, say I I'm above are. because we're loyal Costco customers. So I no, bet you I if you did a poll, above. if you did a poll, Bob, about the Costco samples, I bet you people would people love would them. sound people off. Love they go them. nuts. My wife, Holly loves them. Holly, Holly does and it, it, and it like, introduces you to a new product. So they'll just sure. give away as many as you want, Bob. Mikey, what's the thing? Oh, that, you know what? Let me say this. Maybe if it's like if it's like a chip or if it's like a like a like a like a puff or something like that. But when they have like wet, oh, like oh. a like a dip or like something that's like wet or like not a solid piece those of something. Those artichoke dips, Bob, you would like those ones. Oh, those are that artichoke spinach dip from I Costco. Love, dude, I love, oh, yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Fucking the artichoke, man. I, I, I really do. You're like my dad, Mikey. That's that's something my dad would, would say that he doesn't like trust the samples. Joe's really getting the experience of how nutty this guy well i haven't seen him he's in turks and caicos so i haven't seen him this yeah time. yeah yes good yeah. for him good for him good for him yeah, yeah. happy joe, anniversary man. by the way sue and mike berg oh i got a text oh them. there you go I'm oh bob. Good you, joe good <laughs> bob goes i got a text him. He, um, <laughs> oh he, my like, lord like he always bitches about how nasty hot bars are and stuff like that and all the people touching them and and all that yet when he goes to the salad bar he will take the tongs and he'll take the hard boil. He'll take the egg and he just wants the yolk of the egg in his salad. Oh so he'll God. squeeze the the white part of the egg. He'll squeeze it till the yellow comes out. And oh my it. lord! Like how can you bitch about that? But then you go off and you pull that stunt. Yeah, see, that's me too. Like I have no issues with buffets. I'll eat at a buffet. It doesn't that's bother me whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know what it. Something about eating at Costco just repulses me. You know it what repulses I'm, me. This is By the a, way, the, do you like the pizza, Mikey? That the the stuff that they have there. Fuck the, no, my wife likes oh. it. Holly's like, oh, Costco pizza, Costco hot dog. Fuck no, man. The hot dog I, is is like it's like it's iconic. an it's an icon. Yeah, I know, thing, I know. Not for me. The thing that I'm out on is um that Costco has. I just I'm done with hot dogs. My days with hot dogs, I think, have come to a close. You haven't had a Thumans though. Um, it's just you know what it is. I had one the other day. It was one of the first times I've had it since we did that hot dog challenge. Is it a dirty water dog? I mean, I love them, but at the same time, like the <laughs> way it, you it, it it digests, unlike any other food item, like repeats and, and repeats, just stays in you like a yeah. hot dog. And I it just, repeats. I, the burps are the worst. The worst burps on the planet. The farts are great, but the burps, <laughs> burps. The, the burps are just man. Um, Can I know a hot take? Sure. I think oh. burping's I think burping's more offensive than farting. It's more repulsive. I think it is. I really think it is. Not my farts, dude. It's coming from oh, your this mouth. guy. <laughs> this guy's ass is like a cauldron, man. Oh, listen, it's listen, like I'm brewing not, up some kind I'm of not shit saying, every time he farts. It's like it's like no. a contagion. I am not. No wait, respect, wait, 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 wait. He's got to put saying, hazmat suits on when he farts. I'm not saying smellier. I'm saying more repulsive. I agree, but if you smell the Bob Belcher. fart, I don't think there's anything more repulsive. Ah, man. I've smelled Bob's farts before. They're, they're, they're awful. Well, then I feel sorry for you. It could melt wax. 
You know what? We, lost, we were we were on the <laughs> on the trip last uh, last week, and they thought this was crazy, but it's true. The adrenaline rush of ripping a silent fart, which you know it's bad, and watching people around you waiting to see. <laughs> Baby, you did one right in your jet's face. Jet almost lost it. Oh my god! And when they finally get it, it's the funniest thing. I mean, it's it's the best. It's the best. You know now, your parts way, stink when you can't even handle your own brew. Joey D's got some rippers too. Let's not. Oh, but they don't stink. They don't stink. Oh, the ripper! Oh, the ripper! <laughs> they rarely the stink, Bob. They're very loud. They're, they're very. They're loud. They're obnoxious, but they rarely stink. Yeah, the one it's time, such, the first know, time that you guys Bob. came over. The first time you guys came out for the for the uh, for the Yankee game, and Bob, Joe, you couldn't come to that one. You didn't no. come. To the, not even Bob and Perez no. I came to the first one, not the second one. Yeah, yeah, and then I came to the third and whatever one. one. It was Bob and Perez. For some reason, on the Sunday after, it was just me, Bob and Perez, and the base. And Bob was on an edible. He was so fucked up. Oh no! And he's sitting on the couch and he ripped a fart. Oh, Bro, this kid! This kid laughed for I shit you not five minutes, and we were just saying the ripper. Oh, the ripper! Like he was doing the Dicky V in the Dicky V voice. And Bob, bro, I had never. I don't think I've ever seen him laugh that hard. He was in well. No, no one laughed harder years. than the time we had the last time the Sunday football at your house when. Holly took the picture of Perez. Oh, no. I don't you know, think I've ever great. laughed that, that hard. The hardest I've seen Mikey laugh ever. He was crying. I, I there were breathe. tears I, streaming down our faces. I couldn't breathe. I, I literally <laughs> could not. I could not. That's the greatest picture of him in existence. It's not close. The Pat Perez picture may be the most important, but this certainly is the greatest picture <laughs> ever taken of him. Dude, that That's was so good. We gotta put up. that ticket up. He said he was <laughs> swimming. It looked like he was <laughs> swimming. <laughs> it looked like it looked like a man melted. Like like I've never seen like it looked like he just melted into my couch. Like this, it was it, insane. You know those things where, like, they put the bodies and there's a cutout for the head. It looked like somebody just imposed his head on the. And Bob, 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 what did he say when she took the picture? He knew right away that I've been banged. You know, Holly, Holly went, Holly went to take the picture, and he knew the angle was bad, and he's like. <laughs> Oh, that's not going to be good for me. <laughs> he, 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 he was right. No he was right. He said he had no chance to move that quickly, so he just endured it. <laughs> the, way, the way that, you know, Perez, he's so self-deprecating, and the way he takes a joke better than oh, anybody. God and then he bless him. I fucking love that kid. Way. Yeah, he enhances it by the way he acts about it after. It's one of the funniest things of all time. OED uh, has just bought or sold, and he sold. So we have a buy, a sell, and a sell. Fellas, let's go on. Buy and three sells, Bob. You sold as well. No, but that didn't count. That didn't really count. It's a buy okay. and a sell. Because okay. that was already sold. That okay. was already sold. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. All right, let's head on over to our top five. This is a Joey D top five. And I almost feel like Mikey V kind of mocked. Yeah, it was tough. It almost feel like it was it tough. Was, yeah, it was mocked. It was like a preposterous idea that this could be a top five. Yeah, yeah Mikey, it, it did. Because you put in the chat, are we seriously doing this top five? How and do you know that I said, are we seriously like I did? How do you know that I said it like seriously and not just are we seriously doing this? Well, you said, are we well, really still, doing, are we real? We said, I have my, I have my list. Okay. Wait, um, are we really doing the top, that top five? But and I, I tried I, to pivot. I even tried to pivot. My problem with this top five, though, because I have a slight issue with it, is that I'm afraid that all of our top five is going to fall right in the same thing. But that Not be mine. Said, Not mine. I don't think mine is either. Maybe I'm wrong then. Okay. Joey D, why don't you tell the folks what we're going to be doing? And then, um, you could pick who who's going to go. Uh, today's top five, we are doing top five favorite airlines. Uh, that is the top five favorite airlines as you see them. We will start with the man who didn't want to do this top five. Michael Volani, why don't you lead us off? Number five, I've got Lufthansa. Lufthansa. Uh, oh! Airline. Lufthansa airline, uh, very famous airline. Um, there was a big, uh, there was a big uh, crime that occurred involving the, the Lufthansa, heist. the Lufthansa heist, as everyone knows. Very famous airline. Number four, 
I have the South Pacific Airlines. South Pacific Airlines, um, there was there was another incident with that airline as well, where they actually had they had a shutdown operations uh because rep somebody brought like like um like a, a carry-on of reptiles onto the plane and they got loose on the plane and it caused like a big hullabaloo and they had to shut down the airline. So how is that a good one? Uh, it's just one of my favorite ones. These are just my favorites. I'm just giving my favorite airlines. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, one that's known for a heist and one that had reptiles wait, wait, this is rolling a... off. What are we doing? This is my top five, Joe. Is it not? Am I allowed to give wait, my top five airlines? Like, yes or no? Yeah, you got this American Airlines. A door blew off. Captain died. So I got American Airlines. At number four. three. Number three, I have Blue Star. Blue Star Airlines, um, another airline that's no longer in existence. It was It was actually wrapped up in a bad stock market trading scandal. And they were disbanded because of insider trading, because someone got some inside information that they were going to dissolve this airline company, Blue Star Airlines. So that's my number three. It has to be a bit. There's no way. Mikey, are you doing worst or best? These are. I thought it was top five airlines is what I was told. Top five airlines. Is that no, not but, right? What, but you're choosing airlines that have gone belly up. You got to right. be. You, you got to right. be. You got to be better. I'd like to see a hand up accountability for this display because this is horrible. Can you put that number hand up? number number two? I have Oceanic Airlines. Now, Oceanic <laughs> Airlines, if you guys aren't aware of Oceanic Airlines, they were another company, very promising company. But the plane actually got lost at sea. It was documented, very well documented in 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 like a series long television real life documentary. They never found it. Right. They never found it. Oceanic Airlines, too. And then finally, number one, I have Alitalia. Alitalia uh, Airlines. Joe, you may be familiar with Alitalia as you were with Latanza. And that is my top five airlines, guys. This is that. I mean, God love you, Michael, but that list is going to tank quicker I think than it's your Chicago do well. Bears. No. Why? No, no, that's I that's am. a pot shot. That's a pot shot. What do you say? He had a throw in the comment about the Bears. I said and, those did I, and did I? And did I say a word about the Packers? No, today, Bob? no, you I didn't. didn't. No, I did. he did. Yeah, he no, did. He there's did. been a lot of when? cheap shots from this when? guy in the in the in the live in the live that I did yesterday. Joe, 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 Joe. Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, I, I specifically answered. said, did I say anything about the Packers on this show today? No, not on the show. But that's correct. We did yesterday. Well, yesterday was yesterday. Today's <laughs> You just asked. I answered. Well, I got to say, I do. That was very impressive. I thought he was going to lead with, with the no, back. No, 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 no. He, he didn't. It well, wasn't brought no up. So they I'm played an unbelievable to... season, Bob. You know what the Packers are starting to remind yeah. me of a little bit? Um, the Cubs. In the fact that they're there every year, but now they've become like kind of like the lovable type of team that like is this cinderella underdog story but they just keep you know they, they they're just having their troubles when it when it comes down to the playoffs but you know all in all a great effort from them all Yo, season. If, if you gave you me could have won that game man right they now. dominated that game yeah they dominated sad. that game brock pretty stinks by the way if you gave me the option of jordan love or aaron Rodgers, right now I, I would take considering the future and how young he is, of course, I would take Jordan Love all day, man. This this guy is Yeah, that's kind of why I mean as, as much as I hate why, to admit why, this. I think he, it's kind of obvious. I mean, how many he, of I think it's uh, I think it's obvious too, Bob. Yeah, I, I, I listen, this guy, that's the best team in the league, San Francisco, in my opinion, still. Now Baltimore is a team that I've listen, everyone knows my take on the Ravens. I've I've made it abundantly clear since before the season. They were my Super Bowl pick. I'm sticking with them. But I still think San Francisco is the better team. Why are you laughing? Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> because, that, because everybody doesn't know you. Yeah, they do team. know. Like, yeah, they, the everybody voice doesn't know, know the voice your take know. on the race. Yes, yes, they do, You're Bob. Not they Skip follow Bayless loyally. With the Cowboys. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's a crazy. Yes, I am. Everybody knows my take yeah. on the yeah. I don't know Just like everybody think. knows Bob and Caesar Salads, everyone knows Mikey V and the Ravens of 2023-24. <laughs> now, to get back to my point, the <laughs> Niners, I still believe, are the best team in the in football, Joe. This guy, this guy makes sideline throws. He makes in-your-face pass rush throws. This guy is going to haunt my fucking dreams for the next 10 years. He really is. 
It's going to be, it's actually astounding to me that they did this yet again. Yet again, they found a guy. And Bob, I don't think you're far off. I don't think you're far off. Yeah, I really I, don't. I really don't. Now, you if you good, said it for like another year or two years, then I would probably go Rogers. But right now, considering the youth that he has, and just the fact that Jordan Love is 20 times more likable, Likeable. What's there not to like about about Jordan Love than, than Aaron Rodgers? Who? Oh God, he just this guy. It's all about him. It's all. I like, about I like Aaron. I've come. You just got a, You went no. to Vegas with yeah, his old lineman Bob, and he got a hole in one on Shadow Creek. That doesn't change anything. Congratulations on the hole in one. What does that change? Anything? I'm just saying it's pretty impressive. Everything <laughs> this everything this guy does is impressive, Bob. He's Yo, really what the fuck is that, bro? I don't know. First of all, how do you know that? Oh, it was all over Instagram. Oh, was it? Was it? I didn't see it. I, I, I'll be honest. I didn't see it. And I mean, that's something I would think I would see. It's pretty impressive. Oh, it I, is. I thought, you, I thought you hated Eric. You, you don't like I him. did when he was a Packer. Now I kind of like him. Yeah. And everybody yeah. knows your take about Aaron Rodgers. Everyone does. <laughs> Put out a song. It was very popular. All right. Joey D, who do you want up next? Um, I'll go. I'll go here. Um, all right. I don't know how to follow up what the massacred list that Michael gave out, but great list. I'm 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 gonna do my best at uh at number five. I'm gonna go with British Airlines. Something about the Brits, they know how to travel in class. And if you've ever traveled first class with British Airlines, it is truly one of the best I experiences I I've ever <laughs> that's a that's surprising just because he doesn't want to go to to Europe. But um, you know. It is truly one of the best experiences I've ever had. They do everything meticulously well. Top-notch class. It's a great airline, great lounge, too. This is, this is this is a tailor-made Joey D top five. This is his wheelhouse. Yeah, if you've ever flown in the cockpit of the Concorde before, you'll know exactly what I'm telling you. Just This is, this is just tailor-made to be right up Joe's alley. I, this is a great start. I can't wait to hear this. When I've had a very tough week, I just like to sit first class and just relax <laughs> with British Airlines. Okay, Joe. British Airways, Bob. <laughs> Is it airlines or airways, Joe? British Airways. And you know, if I'm ever in the cab and he's first class, you know what he says? Oh, dude, I wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have been Oh, getting... dude, the hot towels are so warm today. I oh. wish you had one, Bob. <laughs> was that a, when was the last time I ever traveled first class that you weren't there with me, Bob? Not much. Yeah, all right. Who's flying first class to Arizona for the, for the waste management? Anybody? I upgraded. No. Not me. I, I'm, I'm not upgraded. You didn't wow. upgrade? Did not upgrade. I upgraded, but the last travel that I did, I sat consecutive um, flights on the second last row, and I got banged. It was bad. It was really, really tough. You're on four, Joe. All right, number four. Oh, I, I wouldn't know. I keep that's getting Mikey's way. That's Mikey's way of saying move it the fuck along. Why? Well, no, no that's not true. Man. I think, we're, I think this pod is – first of all, let me say this. I think this it's pod a heater. is excellent. I think it's I an too. excellent pod. I do too. People are going to be happy that it's longer than an hour. They're going to love that as they should, as we do. We're rolling. We're letting it roll. But I'm just trying to keep the train on the tracks. That's all. Well, no. then maybe you guys should not interrupt me in the middle of my five. And well, by the I way, think, I think me and Bob had a nice little bit back and forth about the airlines. The right. longer it goes, the more the ads get so we can get you made. Monetizes it. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Maybe I'll get a $10 Wendy's card for the next week. You Gabrielle know. and Dominic's school is, 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 is putting another roof on my house. <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof. All right. Number four. All right. Uh, number four, we're going to go with JetBlue. Um, I think JetBlue is a very good airline. Um, I like some of the features they have, the live TV. They're, they're one of the few airlines, they still have TV screens on the back of the seat. Yep. I don't understand what when we decided that, hey, you know what? We could cut costs. People have a phone. Why don't they just watch it on their own devices? Well, like it's just it's just laziness. Um, so JetBlue, I appreciate that. I also appreciate the unlimited snacks that you can choose at your convenience. Right so JetBlue makes a, the list at number four. And number three, um, I used to use these guys all the time when I flew to Europe, Lufthansa, for reasons other than a no, being known for a heist. They're actually a very good airline, um, and they produce comfort. They produce luxurious uh, um, accommodations, a great lounge. I have never been on a Lufthansa flight that was ever delayed. The, German are meticul the Germans are meticulously on time, 
And I appreciate that because when I, I have like a place that. to go, I want to be there and I want to be there on time. So for that reason, they deserve the three spots. That was one of the reasons it was in my top five also, Joe. Sure. Uh, but number two, I think um, – Really, it doesn't get the credit that it deserves. And I've only flown with them a couple times. First time ever was to New York, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Cathay Pacific, I think, deserves the nod. It is an excellent, excellent airline. You guys are, are, are squinting at airline? me, Bobby. Well, what airline is it? I didn't even Ca hear what. It's Cathay Pacific. Cathay? Cathay Pacific. Okay, I've never heard it's, of it. It's an exceptional. Bob, I guarantee you, if you went there and said business class in Cathay Pacific, it is the... It is the best, one of the best experiences I've ever had. And just not even just like business, like the entire airplane, everything about it is top notch. It's it's I, excellent. I, I, I'm not denying it. I've just never, I've never heard of it. Is it Cafe Pacific? C-A-T-H-A-Y. Wow. Pacific. Good. Very good airline. If you ever go to New York, Bob, they, they do a lot of uh, travel to New York. It's, it's, it's exceptional. They're well known for going to Asia predominantly, but they do have some travel uh, across the East Coast of the United States. Uh, but the first one I'm going to put in is um, Delta Airlines. I think Delta Airlines is a very, very good airline. And, and you know, people seem to agree. Anywhere you look, they're rated consistently as one of the top airlines in the United States. Their lounges that they have, I've never really come across anything that's quite as good. Um, the service you get, I, I think it's a it's a great airline. Um, I think they're um, they're continuing to do things the right way, unlike some of these other airlines like American Airlines. Um, they, they're just, they're really, they're really following, you know, the, the path to excellence. So I think they deserve you'll, you'll to be love the way we fly. You, you know, you know what I think is the dumbest big cat has a bit against people who do this and I'm with it. I think it's the dumbest thing. The people who bitch about, you know, their bag got lost and they tag like American airlines or they tag United on Twitter, like, and big cat always spoofs those people. It's the dumbest. I hate when people do that. And like, is this true? Like, how the hell did this happen, Delta or whatever? I'll never fly Delta Airlines again. As if anybody gives a flying shit about what's happening with your bag, people do I that. I think I've done that. I think I've done it before. I, have you have you done that? I think I've seen him do that on his story before, actually. I did it, but I got banged when I went to I've Italy, Bob. About him, like, when I went to Switzerland. I've seen him do the thing with his sweep. I don't see him like... You would do that, Joe. That was a long time ago, though. I think I've graduated from that. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Maybe you have, Joe. It's it's ridiculous. I, I'm just we... taking a shot at me right now. No, I mean, but no, it, it it's 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 ridiculous. <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> I think I'm I'm outmatched here. I think I think uh Joey D has the upper hand. I'm shocked to see. Uh my number one wasn't in Joe or your or your Mikey's list is all totally I mean that's that's uh, something with schizophrenic would have put that list together. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just don't understand. It's like a bit. I think he did it as a comedic bit, which I would appreciate if he would just admit it. It will all come for full circle, Joseph. I think, I'd like to hear Bob's list. I think Mikey has burner accounts for, for these top fives and puts it. <laughs> <laughs> I put, put, His voices I put, are controlled dude, very closely. Oh if my it God, came Gabriel. out that Mikey had a few burners, I wouldn't flinch. I, I wouldn't nah. flinch. No, I have no burner. Zero. Uh-oh, Gabrielle is awake. Okay. Oh, all, right. No. all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Um, I'm going to number five. This is based off of price for the everyday man. This is also based on how many flights that there are. Um, I'm going to go with United in the five hole. Give me United. A lot of flights. Good price. Got United in the five hole. I'm at a disadvantage in the sense of I haven't flown all of these other airlines. So I'm really just going with what I know. My number one is an airline I've never flown, but I've seen enough. Um, number four. Go ahead and lock me in for Delta. Delta Airlines, price-wise, a bunch of flights. Number three, this is who i am got rewards programs with, who Joey D just banged. Um, I got American at three. Their Wi-Fi is consistent. My biggest thing of any airline is good Wi-Fi. Even if I got to pay for it, that's the biggest thing. I can make a five. What about the safety of the plane? Part of it. Part of it. Part of it? How about all of it? It says Bob the worries guy more who about bought, the Wi-Fi. Who put in his top five every single airline that went into the Pacific. Yeah, oceanic. That's fair. Oceanic. Oceanic Bob. Airways. Yes. 
Yeah. Uh, I got American <laughs> S3. Number two, Joe had this in the list. I, I think they are superior. The only issue with them is they don't have many flights. Give me JetBlue at two. Um, their Wi-Fi, by the way, doesn't get talked about enough. Free Wi-Fi. Which- How are the seats in JetBlue? Fantastic. They're good. They're really? Good. And they and they have a blue illumination along the the cabin that is very soothing. They do. They do. Um, yeah. And they also just leave the snacks in the shelf, which you don't have to wait for somebody to come by. Oh. They leave those snacks. Bob grabs the entire fucking bags. I go oh. in. He's a big snack in. guy. JetBlue's terrific. Um, And then number one, I've never flown. I want to fly really bad. It looks like first class luxury, whether you're in 55B or 1A. Um, The food looks fantastic. I would literally go on a flight and just have to come back just to experience the flight. Give me Emirates at one. Um, Big ups to their marketing team. I have not been on. It looks tremendous. Um, Joe, I'm shocked that you didn't have Emirates there. I've never flown with them. Right. That's fine. I mean, I, I would like to fly, but I've never flown with them. I mean, I've so never flown. I've never flown Blue Star either, but, you know, I, it didn't say airlines you've flown. It was top five airlines. I understand, but it's it's preconceived that if you're picking your favorite airlines, you would pick it based off of the experiences that you've had. Bob has an experience airline. with Emirates. I'm not, I'm not saying he can't put it as his top one. I'm just saying oh, for okay. me. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, honorable mention honorable mention joey d take it away honorable mention i'll go with united i think united is a solid airline um i've never really had any issues with them so yeah i'll put them on my honorable mention michael give me pan am pan american airlines oh Oh my God! Just put together a list. He's gonna put together the 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 airplane that the Wright brothers fucking first invented. (laughs) What else gonna be? I don't know. Wright Wright Airlines. Wright Air. (laughs) Paving the way for the American. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go with just because I don't know any other airlines after this, and I've flown them. Alaska Air treated me fine. That's good. You know. By the way, why did the Wi-Fi, whenever you fly international, why did their Wi-Fis never work? They should. Yeah, I haven't my flown international in forever. Never worked is Air Canada. Anytime I've been on Air Canada, it doesn't work. Anytime. He took two flights his whole life. Right. right. <laughs> two flights. So not both times. Anytime. 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 Um, I got news for you, fellas. I thought this was a terrific episode. It, it was a long episode. It was a fantastic episode. Digest. Can we get the digest going today. Get digest going. Get 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 the digest going. Lions. Going. Wrong. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Bob. You know no, how many I, times I, Baker has banged me this year, putting money on the Bucks. Many times. Yeah. No, many times. I, I feel like the public is on the Lions. I bet you it's the right pick. I don't. I don't doubt his picks, but just out of respect. Um, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Respect. Maybe we come together for the Bills. Yes. Yeah, I, I have Bills. Okay. Okay, let's come together. Let's have a big day. This is the Brit Only Dump Show. Hell of an episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. We will see you. <laughs> Jesus, next I time. drew this guy's belching on the freaking air. Come on, I can't wait to roll back that clip. It must be that Costco sick. hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But the guys. works. Bye. I love you guys. Bye.